So a while ago, I made a video saying that I was going to be doing a Q&A. And in that video, I said I would be answering the questions in my Discord server. But then I realized I should probably answer the questions in a YouTube video as well, because not everybody who watches me uses Discord. So I'm going to be answering the questions that you guys asked me for the Q&A in this video. Do you hate furries? I mean, in my opinion, as long as they're not harming anyone, they should be allowed to do whatever they want with their lives. What do you think of EDP 445? I have pretty much the exact same opinion on this as everyone else. I hate him. Fortnite or PUBG? I'm gonna pick Fortnite, but that's only because I've never played PUBG before. Why do you hate DJ Cook and other YouTubers? Are you jealous? Go watch all 10 of my videos on DJ Cook, and you'll understand why I hate him so much. But to actually answer your question, no, I'm not jealous of him. What was your favorite video you made on someone? Probably the hour-long video I made about DJ Cook a little bit ago. Okay, this is a pretty long comment, but they were basically asking me if I would ever make a video on Gotcha. Whenever somebody asks me to make a video on a YouTuber, usually I look at that person's channel to see what I think about them, to see if they're worth making a video on. With Gotcha, the only stuff that's really worth talking about in a video is Gotcha Heat. Because it's just really weird. I might do a video on it one day, but for now I'm thinking about it. What is your favorite YouTuber? Okay, I don't know if this will make any sense or not. But even though I can acknowledge that someone like Mr. Beast is the best YouTuber out there, my favorite YouTuber is probably Sheffrilla's Productions. Because in my opinion, there is a difference between the best of something and your favorite thing. Mr. Beast is obviously a better channel than Shea Frillis because he gives away money in a lot of his videos and he's just overall a great person, but I gain more enjoyment out of Shea Frillis' content than I do Mr. Beast's. With that being said, Mr. Beast is still an amazing YouTuber. Who is your favorite bad YouTuber? I don't really know what the question is, so I'm just going to interpret it as which bad YouTuber do you gain the most enjoyment out of? Because if that's the question you're asking, it's definitely Mr. Top 5, because I made an entire video about him just because I find him so hilariously bad. But if that isn't the question you're asking, could you comment again and be more specific, and then I'll reply to your comment and tell you what the answer is. Are you interested in retro games? Yeah, I think they're kind of cool. That's basically it, and I don't have a ton to say about this. Question 1. Why did you start making YouTube videos? At first, I started to make videos because I just thought they were fun. Question 2. What made you want to make these types of videos? I was inspired to make videos like this from other commentary channels like JT, because I think he makes really good videos. Question 3. How did you find DJ Cook? I found out about DJ Cook from the video he made on Ninja. Is Fortnite a good game and why do you think people hate it? I honestly think Fortnite's a really good game, and I think one of the reasons people hate it is because kids play it. Either that, or because the game is extremely popular, and I guess people like hating on things that are popular. Would you want to make a video about SML? With pretty much every single YouTuber that people tell me to make a video on, unless I can find something really bad that they've done that is worthy of making a video on them, my answer will always be, I'll think about it. Question. Are you gay? No, I'm not gay. Do you like the new Fortnite season? Okay, so this comment was posted a month ago, so the season isn't really new now. But yeah, I really like it. I think it's pretty good. I could go into more detail here, but I want to make a full video where I rank every Fortnite season that I've played and determine which one is the best. And I kind of want to discuss my thoughts on season 2 in that video. What did you think of the It's Blade video I did on you? Okay, so the video he made on me was about DJ Cook and my videos on him. And whenever I make a video on DJ Cook, I get people commenting stuff on my videos to prove that I'm wrong about DJ. And usually, I don't like those comments. But even though this video uses pretty much the exact same points that those comments use, I kind of liked it more. I don't know why. I probably shouldn't like it because it uses the same points that I don't like. But for some reason, I actually kind of enjoyed it. Overall, it was a decent video. How do you feel about Pokey Furlax being unfairly striked by Showpro? So I actually had to look into this because I didn't know who that was when I first saw this comment. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's some Pokemon YouTuber that was getting unfairly striked by a company called Showpro for using clips from the Pokemon anime. And the copyright strikes were actually false because 
They didn't use any clips from the anime. So if I'm right about that, that is really stupid. And I don't get what people gain from falsely copyright striking a channel anyway. Do you think I can get 1k subs? I mean, if you post consistently and make videos that people will want to watch, then probably, yeah. When will you make videos on my suggestions, like damn or watch data? Like I said earlier, whenever somebody asks me to talk about a YouTuber, my response will always be, I'll think about it, until I can find a reason to make a video on them. And this applies to every comment asking me to make a video on a specific YouTuber, so I'm probably going to stop including these types of comments in this video because you already know what the answer's going to be. What happened to the DJ Cook series and are you going to continue it? Like I said in my base days as video, I hope I don't have to make any more videos on DJ Cook ever again, or at the very least, for a long, long time. What editing software do you use? My editing software used to be Filmora, but then a couple of months ago, I switched to CapCut because Filmora had that annoying watermark and CapCut doesn't have that. Why hasn't DJ Cook made a video on you? The reason he hasn't made a video on me is because he knows I'm right. Really think about it for a second. People say I spread misinformation about DJ Cook, and I get a decent amount of support on these videos. So if I was lying about DJ Cook, and also getting support for it. Don't you think he would make a video on me and call me out for lying about him? He hasn't done that yet because he knows I have too much evidence to disprove. And I know he made a video on EXP Woof who uses the exact same points as me, but EXP Woof's videos are a lot shorter, so that means there's less time to provide as much evidence as I do. Have you played Titanfall 2 before? I'm not gonna lie, I don't actually know what Titanfall 2 is. Also, other questions, do you have plans to make more Fortnite videos on Fortnite YouTubers? I might make more videos on Fortnite YouTubers in the future, we'll just have to see. What do you think of Topper Guild? I've already made two different videos on Topper Guild, but in case you just want a summary, he's really bad. What do you think about that cringe app called TikTok? See, I wouldn't know if TikTok is actually bad or not, because I don't actually have it. There was this one video that I saw recently by a guy called TalkLad, where he talked about why you should delete TikTok. And it was actually a pretty good video, you should go watch it. How can you tolerate criticism? If you get criticism, but the points the person is making just aren't valid at all, I would just ignore them. But if somebody is criticizing you, and they're actually making good points, what I would recommend you do is listen to what they say and try to improve on it. For example, if somebody says your thumbnails are boring, you could maybe try making better thumbnails. Or if someone says your videos are boring, you could try editing them more. What do you think about ThunderBuddy29's newest video? Because his newest one is saying if Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2 is good or bad. I haven't seen it yet, but it's probably exactly like all of his other Fortnite rants, which aren't really my thing, personally. What gave you the courage to talk down about DJ Cook knowing that he has a huge fan base protecting him and exposes YouTubers? The reason I decided to make these videos on DJ Cook is because I didn't really care what DJ Cook's fans were saying in the comment section unless it's actually a valid point that proves me wrong. Most of the time, it's not though. It's just them saying, how dare you make a video on DJ Cook? He's the best YouTuber ever. Shut up, shut up, shut up. But most of the comments never go more in-depth than just saying, he's good, trust me bro. I'm not saying you aren't allowed to like DJ Cook, but don't say something in the comments like, you're wrong because DJ Cook is good, and then don't explain why you think he's good, because then I don't know if I should agree with you or not. Are you a certified genius? No, I am not. What's your favorite video game? Probably one of the Mario and Luigi games, because those are really good. What do you think of Mr. Beast? I know you like him, I was just joking. The actual Q&A questions I want to ask are, who's your favorite YouTuber? I know I already said this before, but my favorite YouTuber is Schaeferless Productions, even though I can't acknowledge that Mr. Beast is technically better. Where are you from? The UK. What do you think of Pack God? He's fine, I guess. I just don't really care about his videos too much. What DJ Cook video is either good or bad? I assume you're asking me to name a good DJ Cook video and a bad DJ Cook video? If you're not, tell me what you were actually asking in the comments and I'll reply to you and tell you the answer. But for now, I'm just gonna answer the question I think you're asking me. For the bad videos, any video where he fakes information, as well as every single one of his hater videos, they all suck. And as for the good videos, probably his cooking up advice series. And the only reason I'm saying his advice series is good is because somebody in my comments said that his advice really helped them in life. So clearly he's doing something. 
Is DJ gonna find out about you? He actually already found out about me a few months ago, so I made a response video to him. When did you start this channel? Well, I made the channel in February 2021, but my first upload was in August 2022. Do you play Roblox? And do you think DJ Cook will change his content? I play Roblox sometimes. I don't play it very often, but I play it occasionally. And no, I don't think DJ Cook will ever change his content unless something really bad happens. Like everybody suddenly realizes that he doesn't actually clean up YouTube like he says he does. Not sure why it would take them so long to realize that, but okay. What do you think of Dark Dom? I didn't know who that was before I saw this comment, so I looked at his channel and his content looks decent, I guess. When will you start playing Geometry Dash? I've played it a couple of times, but I don't play it very often. How do DJ Cook fans still defend him after your very information-packed videos? I think the reason they don't agree with me is because they're in denial. They don't want to believe they've been supporting a blatant hypocrite all this time, so they just decide not to listen to my points. Did you used to be a fan of DJ Cook? Yeah, I actually used to be a fan of his content a while ago. I only stopped liking him in February 2022 when I found out that he faked the video on K's and Boosty Pop. Will you ever do YouTube as a full-time job? I am eligible for monetization, so if I get that enabled, then I might. Who is your favorite YouTuber and who is your least favorite YouTuber? I've already said a couple of times who my favorite YouTuber is, but as for my least favorite YouTuber, it's definitely Daddy05. I mean, he abused his children and ended up losing custody of them. It doesn't get worse than that in terms of YouTubers. How would you rewrite DJ Cook's channel? If I were DJ Cook, I would stop fabricating stuff in my videos, I would stop making hater videos, I would stop making sexual thumbnails, and I would stop claiming that I clean up YouTube and stop claiming that I expose people. What's the point in calling people out for fake videos and sexual thumbnails if you're gonna do the exact same thing? The hater videos he makes are just really dumb because he's just talking about people that don't like him, and most of what he says in the videos is just talking about their age or how they look or sound, which is completely irrelevant. And as for the cleaning up YouTube thing, I would stop saying that because he doesn't clean up YouTube and he doesn't expose people at all. And I think that's about it. Anyway, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed, you can subscribe. You can join the Discord. The link's in the description. And you can also check out some of my other videos in the description.